Hi there, this is Katie M. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about getting your home ready for winter. And we live in an older home, so if you do too, come on and let's do it. If not, check out what I do. One of the main things that we need to do at our house to get ready for winter is remove the AC units. So we have one in each bedroom and then we have a couple downstairs on the first floor. This was a new experience for me and I really do appreciate help with this. It was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I can see it being much more difficult to get them in, but either way, I still appreciate it. It's, it, it can be tricky, but it can be done. Another thing that we do in our house to get ready for winter is bleed the radiators. So what you're doing when you are actually doing this, you're just trying to get the air out because these are water heater radiators and you just want warm water running through there. First of all, because ew, dust. <laughs> and as you can see, my lovely Swiffer is collecting lots and lots of dust. And actually, I did clean this in the spring. So, anyways, you see this button here, you're just going to press it or move it over, whatever you have, and then you have switched the direction of the blades for the season. season. Another one that you can do in an order or in your home is adding a thicker blanket to your bed. So when it's summertime, I really only feel like we need the comforter and the sheet. But once the weather starts to change, first step is actually just using regular sheets and then adding the extra blanket. However, I don't have it shown here because it's not quite cold enough here yet but we actually normally switch over to heavier sheets as well. them first that'll also help extend their lifespan but at least moving them out of the windows when it is winter is definitely helpful Enjoyed this video? Don't forget to subscribe and have a great week.